like that here in the last days, you will occupy a certain lot, which is the seat of power, testifies against you. And if nothing else places you at the scene of the crime. See that? Which brings me right here to the book of 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. And starting at the 24th verse, it says, Then cometh the end. See? Then cometh the end. So you can see what prophecy, which again is at the forefront of this ministry, is a build up to the end. Remember we read in the book of 2 Ezra, the 6th chapter and the ninth verse, Esau is the end of the world, so the end is pretty much synonymous with the so-called white man. All right, this man would be in power, and under his dominion, his influence would reach throughout the planet Earth. And that's pursuant to the book of Job, the ninth chapter and the 24th verse. See, again, then cometh the end, see that, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to the Most High, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. Yeah, so in order... For the kingdom of our Lord Yahweh shall to be ushered in. All other forms of authority and power and rule shall be put down. Huh? All right. You know, you have this current beast system where the scriptures tell you how the nations rule with the beast one hour. That's not going to apply in the world to come. It's not going to be a coexistent power. <laughs> all right. In the kingdom of heaven. Again, in order for the kingdom of heaven to be ushered in, all forms of power and rule and authority will be laid down. See that? Verse 25, For he must reign, concerning our Lord Yahweh Shah, till he have put all enemies under his feet. For an example, when you read in the book of Daniel, concerning the statue that spotlights the rise and fall of different kingdoms and empires and regimes, well, it's in relation to these different nations, you know, who at one point of time or another had a time to rule at whatever respect of time given. Right? But the scriptures say, for he must reign, see, till he have put all enemies under his feet, see, verse 26, the last enemy, see, the last enemy 